Church family, we have had a tremendous summer of missions work in the youth program, serving locally with Good News Across Sports. We went out to Lynchburg for CYIA training. We went to Williamsburg for teen camp, and we had a trip planned to return to Navajo Nation. And it had been canceled the previous two years, so the teens were really excited all year because this was going to be the year that COVID wasn't going to cancel us. We prepared, we trained, we fundraised, we, we were prayed up, and we were ready to see our friends and our family and continue the work that we had done in Navajo Nation back in 2019. Unfortunately, COVID canceled our plans yet again this year. So, Adam and I started praying, God, where would you have these 12 missionaries serve? And little did we know that 12 hours north, or I'm sorry, 15 hours north, in Livermore Falls, Maine, would be Roger Lave praying, Lord, who would you send to be the 12 missionaries for week five of Good News Club? Well, God made the connection, and we had a wonderful week of camp. And here's a couple teens to tell you a little more about. I saw God move because I know from a lot of people from my cabin, a lot of people were struggling with home life and it just really helped um, with us leading them to Christ. I actually helped lead two kids to Christ, which was really amazing. And it was just a lot of fun to have them like grow and stuff like that. It's different from other trips because normally at like the News Cross Sports and stuff like that, we don't really get to like connect with them as much because they like go home every night. But at this camp, they actually stayed with us in cabins. And so we got to connect with them through that because they were with us all day, every day, 24-7. My favorite part of camp was probably just being able to have like a bunch of fun with the kids, connecting and making new friends, and um, I led two kids to Christ. That was probably my favorite part. Um, this week I had a lot of uh, campers from difficult backgrounds, and when they came in, they were very um, untrusting of me and the other counselors, but as the week progressed, God changed uh, their lives. Um, they became more open to what He was saying, and more open to other people. Um, I got to I got to create a close bond with all the other uh, campers in my cabin, which I really didn't have the opportunity to um, during VBS and uh, CYA because um, I had more time with them this week. Um, my favorite part was probably the big activities at the end of the day, um, seeing all the kids all happy and messing around <laughs> was very fun to see. So as you can tell, the teens had an amazing week. And we are continuing to pray for all of the, the children who accepted Christ that week, uh, particularly for Good News Across Sports and Maine. We saw about 50 children give their life to Christ between those two weeks. What an amazing work of God. So. Join us in prayer, won't you, for all the work that God wants to continue doing through the teens this year as we start up Wednesday nights yet again. God bless.